TikTok is now a breeding ground for mental disorders. Instagram knew that their algorithm was causing eating disorders, higher levels of anxiety and depression, but they hid this data for two years. A study found that teenagers who viewed a high number of Tourette syndrome TikTok videos portrayed similar tick-like behaviors. Frequent social media usage has been linked to depression, anxiety, and feelings of loneliness. These are only a few of the many sources that you can find that links content consumption with mental health issues. A question to ask yourself is, are your social media feeds full of things that make you insecure or are full of negativity? Or are they full of things that make you feel inspired or uplifted? It's important to know that every single piece of content you consume affects your vibration, your mood, your thoughts, and your perspective on the world. The type of content you watch or listen to matters because your internal state does reflect your external environment. It's like the saying, you are what you eat. For example, if you always eat bad foods, your being will reflect it and you will always be tired or unhealthy. And because of how the algorithms works nowadays, it is easy to get categorized in a specific niche that can be harmful or detrimental or in a low vibrational energy. And if you constantly consume this negative content, it can be dangerous. I was a victim of TikTok's algorithm, for example. On TikTok, if you constantly like, comment, or watch through beauty videos of girls prioritizing looks, you will be pulled into a feed of people only caring about looks and beauty, which can easily make someone become insecure. Because if you watch videos of girls constantly posting their bodies or prioritizing looks, how can your brain not be affected if you watch that content over and over again? And this does not only pertain to TikTok. Studies have linked Instagram to depression, body image concerns, self-esteem issues, social anxiety, and other problems. By design, the app capitalizes on users' biological drive for social belonging and nudges them to keep on scrolling. And these mental health issues only increased with the rise of TikTok. On the other hand, if the algorithm categorizes you in the niche of people who are all about body positivity, then you will be brought into that vibrational energy and embody it in real life as well. But the problem is that it is hard to choose what type of content you are given on TikTok unlike other platforms like YouTube. And you have to just scroll through whatever shows up on your feed. In 2021, the Wall Street Journal conducted its own investigation into TikTok. The journal created 100 bot accounts, giving them each different ages, genders, location, and interest. These bots were programmed to linger on videos that related to their programmed interests. One bot was given an interest in sadness and depression-related videos, and within 36 minutes of creating this bot account, the TikTok algorithm learned that the user was interested in depression-related content. Eventually, about 93% of the content on the bots for you page was about sadness and depression. Platforms like TikTok and YouTube control everything. They control what shows up on your feed and recommendations and what videos get monetized for creators and everything about the content creation and content consumption experience. How the algorithm works is that it pushes out specific videos to specific audiences that it thinks it will do well with. For example, a productivity video will get pushed out to people who are interested in hustle culture. This can cause closed-mindedness and put people in a bubble depending on what niche they are in. So as a content consumer, it is easy to get caught up on the wrong side of things. Because of the nature of online platforms, everyone has a voice and everyone's voice is amplified and can reach thousands easily. This includes those who have positive things to say, but also those who are spreading wrong ideas or negative vibes. So be aware of what content rabbit hole you are falling into. 
Social media and pop culture like TikTok or rappers like Cardi B or Nicki Minaj normalize hypersexuality. And young people are especially influenced by this. Nowadays, social media is full of girls just showing off their boobs and their butts. And if you are a young girl experiencing this, you are very susceptible to get negatively influenced. Because when you are exposed to the internet at a young age, you can't really filter out what's right or wrong. And 13-year-old girls are being grown up with role models like Cardi B who are being sexual on the internet. And they think that being sexual on the internet is empowering or feminine, which is so harmful for the younger generation. Even for guys, all the male rappers out there just talk about sex and materialism. And I'm not a guy, but I can already tell that this type of content they are consuming is not for the better. Every single content creator has a decision to make when creating videos. They choose between focusing on gaining views and attention or spreading truth and positivity. If you watch a video, really think to yourself, does this creator really care about the well-being of their audience? Or are they just trying to get views or have other motivations? If you are going to be online, you need to curate what you are seeing. Only engage and like and comment on posts that you want to continue showing up on your feed. Make sure your eyes and ears are consuming positive messages. So if your social media isn't contributing positively to your life, it may be best to get off the platform and delete it all together for your well-being. Thank you all for watching. I hope that this video was helpful for someone out there.